Hey, this is Matthew, and welcome back to Nerd News Today. And this time around, we're not doing a figure review, we're actually doing an unboxing of a Kickstarter that I backed, I think definitely over a year ago, and it just finally arrived here. I'm super excited about this one. Today, we've got a big package from Catalyst Games, and this is a look at their Battletech Kickstarter rewards. So when I was a kid, I somehow managed to convince my parents to buy me the beginner set of the Battletech role-playing game. And honestly, I don't think I really had any plans or intentions to actually ever play the game. I mostly just wanted the miniatures. Fast forward to X amount of years later, here we are today with Catalyst Games, and they've now got the license and they're doing the Battletech game. And thanks to this Kickstarter, I decided to go ahead and jump on in and attempt to actually get into it for real. And if you're having flashbacks to my Warhammer 40k videos, yeah, it's a little bit like that. But this time around, I actually have a connection to the source material, and I'm actually much more invested in playing this one as opposed to Warhammer, which I'm kind of having a lot more fun just painting the minifigures with. So yeah, we're going to take a look, and I'm going to literally pull these things out and looking at it for the very first time, because yeah, I, I, legit, I really don't remember what I got. So let's kick things off here. Number one, what is in the box? Starting off, we've got some minifigures on the top of the box here. I've got the Inner Sphere Battle Lance set and the Legendary Mech Warriors. I think the Legendary Mech Warriors were an add-on bonus later on towards the end of the Kickstarter. Uh, don't quote me on that. But uh, this is my first time again seeing any of these miniatures since the ones I bought back in the day, which I think was like maybe fourth edition, I want to say. We're talking 90s here. So I have been way out of the Battletech game in many, 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 many years. I remember really liking those mechs back then, and I can tell you guys that nothing has changed. They still look really nice. Let's get a better look and see what's actually in each of these boxes, because I believe they should all come with some bio cards of everybody. The Inner Sphere set comes with Warhammer, Rifleman, Phoenix, Hawk, and Wasp, which are all assembled. And the legendary set includes four mechs, Direwolf, Timberwolf, Marauder, and the Archer, along with character cards with characters from the game, making these actually somewhat storyline relevant characters and storyline relevant mechs. So when I initially took these out, I thought that some of them were articulated because it looked like they had like articulated joints. As far as I can tell, this batch doesn't seem to actually have any articulated joints, but they're all in really nice dynamic poses, and these are serious upgrades to what I remember having in the 90s. These were all 3D sculpted, and I believe first time around they were 3D printed. These all look really solid, great detail. I'm a sucker for giant robots in general, and Battletech was kind of like my first entry into that. And these guys look so awesome, really can't get over it. And by the way, the plastic packaging on all of them also has their names. You remember who goes in what slot. Makes things a lot easier for if you're actually playing this game, you need to put them back where they were. As for the cards that come with them, they're pretty high quality. These are made by Tops, in fact, which is pretty cool. I didn't know they were going to be made by Tops. And the Inner Sphere one, I didn't know, also has characters that go with it. As for the front of the cards of the mechs, there's a lot of gameplay elements, which I don't actually really understand entirely yet but I'm sure I'll figure them out as we go along. But they're really cool, very easy to read. I'll give them that much so far. All right, let's keep going. Let's see what else is in the box. I know for a fact I ordered a lot of mechs and yet yeah, here's some more. Okay, so now I've got the Clan Command Star Pack, which is really nice. And over here, I've got the Clan Heavy Striker Star. Oh uh, yeah, there's some really cool ones in this one too. The Clan Command Star has five mechs in the set, which are the Dire Wolf, Summoner, Stormcrow, Mist Lynx, and Shadow Cat, along with more cards. And the Clan Heavy Striker Star includes the Gargoyle Hellbinger. Hellbinger? Hellbringer? I, I don't know if that's a typo or if that's actually how it's supposed to be there. I'm gonna assume it's actually meant to be Hellbinger. Weird word though. Mad Dog, Ice Ferret, and Viper. And once again, five Pilot cards and five Alpha Strike cards. Let's keep going. What else do I have? Oh, cool, okay. Uh, I forgot I got this too. Yeah, I got a t-shirt as part of the thing. So this is a Clan Wolf t-shirt. Let's see what this actually looks like. It currently is baffling me how to open it. It's been a long time, folks. It's been a long time. I don't think that's how you open it. It was taped. All right, I finally solved the mystery of the t-shirt box. Let's take a look at this. It's a nice Gildan cotton shirt. There's the Clan Wolf logo on the front and a big old classic Battletech logo on the back. Very nice. I guess I know what I'm gonna be wearing when I start doing some painting videos about these minifigures. All right, I got a bunch of little things here. Uh, this looks like I've got a Clan Wolf coin of some kind. It's one of those collector coins, I guess. Yes, all right, that's what this is here. It's some kind of medallion. That's kind of nice. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it, but it looks really cool. That's like the classic thing everybody wants to hear. I got this thing, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it's nice. 
I also got a Clan Wolf patch. This is pretty high quality patch. Uh, I'm surprised it's actually very large, in fact. Uh, and it looks like it is a Velcro patch, so that's cool. So this side here, you can adhere to, I guess, something else, any kind of fabric or whatever. Uh, and let's let's find out if I'm actually accurate about that. No, no, it, it actually is Velcro. This is a Velcro patch, all right. Check that out, you guys can hear it. So this is cool, so you can adhere this to any kind of surface, and then you can just Velcro it on, take it on and off. That's pretty handy, that's cool to have. I also have some Clan Wolf dice. And I believe what's cool about these guys is that where the six would be, yep, we have the Clan Wolf logo. Let's roll a pair of wolves. Oh, hey, I actually, I actually got one. And if you're wondering why I got so many Clan Wolf things, well, because I'm so new to this game, I don't really know much about the history of any of this stuff here. So to be completely honest, I was kind of just buying things that I thought had cool logos. I've also got two pilot decks here. So one of these is just a generic pilot deck, I guess, and the other one is for a bunch of mercenaries. So again, this is gonna be something I'll probably know a lot more about and understand a little bit better once I start reading the rules and start playing the game. But for now, I've got some extra cards here, so I'm sure at some point this will come in handy. All right, I've got a bunch of cards here. So I've got, what is this here? So these are, it looks like two different decks of pilots. They each have 55 different pilots in them. That's a lot of different folks. So and I would imagine that these guys all have different abilities, different uses for themselves. This is again, one of those things I forgot about because I was so focused on all the mechs and all the different models I'm gonna have. But uh, you know, as far as gameplay goes, I imagine this is probably something very good to have also. All right, next up we have, all right, cool. So I'll start with this. This is a whole big thing of Battletech record sheets. I know this is a big part of the gameplay and they gave us a lot, that's the case. There's battle mechs on this side, omni mechs on this side. And we also have a map pack. This is the Battle of Tukayid. That's, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Tukayid, Tukayad, I don't, I don't know. I'm a beginner, sue me. This is a double-sized, two-sided paper map sheet with a bunch of different terrain. It has a punch board with fire and smoke counters. All right, and all right, this is what I was actually waiting for. This is the Battletech Game of Armored Combat basically a beginner set. This is really the way to start playing. This is where the RPG truly begins. So yeah, since I don't have this anymore, the only one I had was, like I said, the one from the 90s. Uh, it's about time I get up to date, up to speed on things. So I had to go back to the beginning and start with the very first game in the series. And we're gonna probably do a full unboxing of this guy on another day because there's a lot to this. There's like eight miniatures, the rule book. Uh, you can see on the back here, there's a whole bunch of things inside this box here. So yeah, we're gonna open this guy up on a different day. So stay tuned for that. And what else do we have here? Uh, okay, this is the Clan Invasion expansion set. So again, we're gonna do a full unboxing of this guy on another day too, because this adds even more characters. You can see here, it's got five of the different mechs. Looks like we got some jump troops maybe. Or so those, those are the elementals. Okay, those are the elementals. Forgot about those guys. Uh, yeah, again, a lot of stuff here. So this will be opened on a different day. This table's getting really full, but there are a few more things in this box. Let's see what's in the tail end here. Finish this off. On the very bottom, we have, all right, cool. This is a bunch of Battletech posters. I'll have to get a better shot of this in a little bit. There's three of these guys in here. I'm probably not gonna actually unfurl these on camera, but I believe that Catalyst Games did send out some images of them a while back. So I'll make sure to cut them in over here so you can see what these posters look like as far as the images go. In terms of size, I know that they're pretty huge. And that's also why I'm not gonna open up because there's no space here for that. But take my word for them. These are pretty nice and pretty big. We have a few other little souvenirs as part of the Kickstarter set as well. This is the Dagger Star keychain, and I've got a Clan Jade Falcon enamel pin. Pin's really nice. I didn't expect it to actually be in a hard case. That's nice, keeps it nice and protected, and it looks really good in there. Yeah, again, I just went for what I liked as far as logos go, and I decided not to get another Clan Wolf thing, because I just wanted to mix it up and see more of these things in different styles. And the Clan Jade Falcon does look pretty spectacular here, so I think I made a good choice with that. And same thing with the Dagger Star keychain. I don't really know much about any of these factions, any of that stuff at all, but as far as looks go, I think that's just a really cool logo, so that's why I got that one. And last but not least, in terms of souvenirs, I've also got a Clan Codex dog tag. That's really cool. I guess I'm gonna put this on right now, in fact. At least I'm gonna try and put this on. We'll see how long I leave it on, because it's gonna probably make a lot of noise next to my microphone. There we go, Clan Codex. And last but not least, because after all, this is me here, I had to get some blind boxes, and luckily Catalyst Games was there to help feed my addiction. So I got a bunch of different things here. I know some of these are part of it, and some of these I bought on as add-ons. So I've got a legendary salvage box right here. I've got an urban mech salvage box. What else do I have? I think I have a bunch of the urban mechs. Uh, this is a clan invasion mystery box here. This is another clan invasion mystery box. This is another clan invasion mystery box. I think we're seeing a pattern here. And one more clan invasion box. So those are all my blind boxes here. So as you guys can see here, this is a lot of stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna leave you hanging. Let's still one of these boxes right now. All right, this is cool. Didn't expect these to actually each have their own little plastic sleeve. Let's see who I've got now. Coming from clan Jade Falcon, I've got a summoner prime, Thor. Let's see who else I have here. Another random mech. 
This is a dire wolf. This one is for Grace. And of course they have a little label in the names also, which is handy so you don't forget who they are. Let's go for their clan invasion mystery one and see who we get here. Looks like, all right, it looks like I my first dupe of the mystery boxes. That's kind of disappointing, but I've got one more here. Uh, let's hope it's not a third dupe. Okay, it is not a dupe. We're off to a good start here now. I've got Bob Becker and his Nova. I remember playing the Nova a lot in the Battletech uh, game on PlayStation. You guys remember that game? I actually had that also. I had Battletech 2, I think it was, or MechWarrior 2, whatever it was. I remember playing with the Nova a lot. I always use the PPC blast on him. All right, let's see. I've got this now, Urban Mech. Let's see what these guys look like and see who we've got. I've got Evangeline Cantwell in her Urban Mech UM, UMR63. Well, that's kind of cute. Not one of my favorite designs, but uh, it's definitely there. It's definitely a mech. That's my review of it. It's it's definitely a mech. And finally, saving what I hope will be the best for last, we've got a legendary mech here. And who do I have? Who am I pulling out? All right, that's a nice looking one here. I've got I've got Grace and Death Carlisle in a Marauder mech, which I think we got also in one of these other legendary boxes. And to be fair, even though I've got now a few dupes of these things, that works out well for me because I do want to experiment with painting them. I haven't painted any of these types of miniatures before. So the fact that I've got some dupes makes me feel a little bit less bad if I screw them up because I'm gonna probably screw them up. So that's a look at my Kickstarter rewards from Catalyst Games and their Battletech Kickstarter. It took some time to get here, but it's finally here. I'm really excited to get started here. So stick around, there's gonna be some Battletech videos coming out here and there across my channel. Uh, definitely starting off with these two big boys here because I wanna to get to understanding how the game works, learn the rules again. And for any beginners out there who are like me out there who wanna know what it's like, well, this will be your chance to take a peek and see how Battletech begins. And just as an aside, I want to give a shout out to Catalyst Games, not because they sent me anything extra. This isn't a sponsored video in any way, but I want to give them a shout out because they have been really cool to work with as far as the Kickstarter goes and to be a backer of them has been great. And what I mean by that is they've been super transparent and super communicative. I get multiple emails from Catalyst Games throughout the week telling us about all the updates that are happening in the game, telling us about shipping updates, giving us backstory, giving us all sorts of free eBooks as well, because I didn't mention that here, but one of the rewards I got was a ton of eBooks. And that's really cool to have also to help add a lot more lore and history to the game, which again, I'm not quite ready to get into yet, but it's nice to know that it's there for me once I am ready. But they've been really cool, really transparent, and it's been nice getting all those different emails, showing us the process for these things have gotten made. They've walked us through the production of all these mechs, in fact, and they've shown how they changed the poses, how they had to make some choices based on being able to actually get these things to not break. It's been really nice to get that behind the scenes information about all of the things in the Kickstarter and in the game. So I think it's actually really cool. I like that very much. So folks, you guys can see the dropship has landed. Battletech has just begun here on Nerd News today. So you can expect to see a lot more minifigure painting between figures like this, more Warhammer 40K, probably some WizKids miniatures and everything else because we're getting a little bit deeper into some role-playing stuff here. It's something I've wanted to do since a while back. Didn't have a chance to really get into it. So stick around because as you can see here, I'm gonna have a lot of work to do. So if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to us to see everything else we do here on Nerd News Today. And if you're a veteran Battletech player, I'd love to hear any thoughts you guys have on stuff that beginners like me should know about. And I'm talking gameplay elements, I'm talking minifigure painting, anything you think that I should know as a starter in the world of Battletech, please feel free to let me know. So until next time, I'm Matthew, this has been Nerd News Today. Thank you again, Catalyst Games. The wait has been worth it. There's some really cool stuff here. I'm just really excited to get started in the world of Battletech once more. So. Onto the breaches we go. See you guys next time.